Okay, in this video, we will look at how to save a matrix into uh, an output file. Okay, so let's start by just creating a matrix. So I'm going to use the NumPy library. We're using our spider uh, uh, editor. So import NumPy as NP, and then I'll create two vectors. So x equal to um, NP dot array matrix and uh, give it some values okay similarly i'll create another vector as well another set of random values okay so let's run all this so we have our two vectors okay and um, i want to find the multiplication of these two vectors to create a five by five matrix okay so if I do x times y, it will give me an error because of the shape. Both are 1 by 5, 1 by 5. So both are row um, row vectors. So we need to transpose one of them. So let's transpose x. x dot transpose. And then multiply it. So x times y. x times y. OK. And that's my 5 by 5 matrix. Uh, now I would like to have a data file which contains x as a column vector, and then y as another column, and then the matrix uh, A. Okay, so in order to do that, you have to convert your x, y, and A into pandas data frame. Then you can apply, um, like you can say, data dot to CSV. Okay, you can do this with a pandas data frame only. You cannot do this with a matrix, for example, a dot, this method doesn't exist. Okay, it doesn't have any attribute called to a CSV. Okay, so we have to convert all of them to a pandas uh, data frame and then combine them together and then save it to file. Okay, so first part, how to, how to convert them to data. Okay. okay, this part is easy. You just have to first import pandas as pd. Let me run this. Okay, and then here I can say x data frame equal to uh, pd dot data frame. Okay, of x, and then if I run this, okay, so uh, Python is very case sensitive, so typically the second word is capitalized. Let's try that again. Okay, so x underscore df. You can see um, these are the values inside x. Okay, so it's in it's a uh, it's a column vector just like we have set it. So x originally is five by one, so it is a column vector. Okay, if we try to do the same for y, pd dot data frame of y. Okay, and then check what is the value of y. You see that it's a, um, a row vector. Okay. So if before you save it to file, it would be a good idea to have them as like column vectors. So let's transpose our y vector here, y equal to y dot transpose. Okay, and then convert it to a data frame. Now hopefully it should be a column vector. There you go. Okay, now you can see the column doesn't have a meaningful name. It's uh, set to zero index. If you would like to have uh, have the columns with names, so just type in columns equal to and make a list and set whatever the name is supposed to be. So this one is x and this one is y. Okay, if I run this and sorry, y underscore data frame, you see now it has a meaningful name y. Okay. And finally, same thing for the matrix A, PD dot data frame A. Okay, here it's a bit tricky. I'll show you what's happening. So you have the matrix A. Maybe I want to label this one, the first column as matrix A. So it looks good in the output file. Okay, so you would try to do the following, which is columns go to A, for example. But this, if you run it, it will give you an error saying that shape of pass values, the matrix A is 5 by 5, but the index for the column implies that you only have 5 rows and 1 column. Okay, 
So you kind of have to fill out the rest of the uh, the rest of the what do you call column headers as well. The easy way to do that is if you have a list. Okay, what you want to do is you want to uh, include empty if you don't have any kind of label. Okay, um, depending on the size of your matrix, this might be tedious to enter it manually. So in list there is a there is a trick to do which is you can add empty to it like this for example okay but if you want to repeat some uh, some uh, part of a list like a couple of times you can use a multiplication sign so i can say this one multiplied by we have 5 minus 1 4 so 4 and i get a and then four empties okay so this is what i want to do so copy and paste it over here. Okay, now if I run this, and if I look at my data frame, A data frame, you see that the name is A and it's empty on the uh, other part. So this is what I want, and let's combine everything together into a file now. So to combine everything, we'll create a new variable called result, and then we'll use the concat function, which concatenates uh, data frames together. And we'll try to concatenate all the data frames together. So x, y data frame, and a data frame. Okay. If you run this, yes. Uh, so this means that this has to be inside a list. So put square brackets around it. So it, you're passing a list of data frames into the uh, into the concatenate function. Okay. Try that again. Okay, so I'm getting an error. Um, so one thing we missed is if you use concatenate directly, the default option is to add the data frames one after the other in the in row wise. Okay, what we want to do is do column wise. Okay, so let's set the axis to one. So this will make sure that when you're combining these data frames, it's going to be the x vector, then the y vector, and then the a matrix. Okay, instead of doing the x vector, y vector, and the a matrix below. Let's see if this runs. Yeah, I, yeah, this has to be a list, like I said before. Okay, there you go. If I now look at results, oh, what happened? Yeah, so it has all of them except the X. Uh, this one kind of got lost, so let me run the whole thing again run the whole thing and you have result there you go x y a and the rest of it so now to save it to file all you have to do is just say result dot to csv and give it the file name output dot csv okay let's select it and run it and check if our results are right here is the output file that we generated now There you go. So we have the x value, the y value, and the a matrix. Okay. Um, I hope this helped. Um, yep. Thank you.